Yo, what's going on, party people? This your man Griff here. Just wanted to um, throw out a quick video. You know, we coming up on Monday, the December the seventh, and um, should be end of the month. I mean, they're gonna start trying to close out this month pretty early for closings because of the holidays of you know Christmas and then New Year's. So be ready for some closings to come your way. And if you see a loan application, I'm telling y'all, please take the loan application. Um, I don't know where everybody is at, but keep in this in mind. If you're close to the border of another state and you get a loan application come in, you can go across some state lines and do that loan application because there's no notarizations. In Virginia, in the Hampton Roads area, down in Chesapeake, Virginia Beach, we're close to North Carolina. And I haven't done it um, because I'm, I just never, um, the time just never worked out. But other notaries have going, gone down into North Carolina and done loan applications. So if they ask you, hey, cross the line, I guess we're from Detroit to Illinois or Texas into Alabama or whatever, Florida into Georgia and all of that kind of stuff. You can do that because you're not notarizing anything. All you're doing is going over there, doing the loan application and shipping everything back. And if you get a closing for that's happening in another state, which I get notifications all the time for closings in North Carolina, I respond back to, hey, I'm a Virginia notary. I'm willing to meet them in a location. And then the best thing to do is to pick your location. Like we have an area called Moyoc, North Carolina. I found Moyoc, North Carolina and Knox Island. I say, I'll be glad to meet them. If it's not silent, meet you in Red Mill area. If it's um, <clears throat> Moyoc, I tell them I'll meet you in Indenburg. Find a nice spot there and meet them, you know, um, to get that closing done. And people have... The signing company called them and said, hey, they can meet you in Virginia if you're willing to travel. And I've had people come up into Virginia from the um, North Carolina area to get that closing done. And they paid very nicely for that. So you can do that. A loan closing, I mean, a loan application, you can go down there to another state. They're not, I mean, you don't, you're not going to get in trouble for doing that because you're not notarizing anything. The only thing you can't do you know, if you get across state line and then while you're there, they're like, hey, well, why are you here? Can you notarize? Nah, unless your state allows that and you can check and find out. Um, but if your state doesn't, it's no big deal because you're not notarizing anything. You're just a person they're asking to go pick up these documents. They take, give them to you. You take them to them. They sign them and then you bring them back. That's it. So look for opportunities such as that. Don't be afraid of those loan applications. I know they don't pay as much. But keep in mind this, every time there's a loan application, that means there's a potential in four to six weeks for somebody to do a closing. And if you play it right, you may be able to get that closing on that loan application also. So if you get a $75 loan application and then they're willing to pay $100 for the closing, you done made you $175 for basically two hours worth of work. That's awesome. That is awesome. So make sure you have your supplies together. Make sure your car gassed up. Make sure your fam knows everything what's going on. And just be ready if orders start coming in and be willing to take them. And for you new notaries, if an order comes in, might be a little low, might be a little bit of a drive um, for you for those first couple of ones. Take them so you can get it under your belt because at the end of the day, it's about experience. The more numbers you have under your belt after four months, six months, eight months, a year, the better it is. I will say this, and I, I meant to say this earlier on in my other videos, and I keep kept forgetting. <clears throat> I saw things grow exponentially for me after my first year. After my very first year, and I went and redid my certification and all of that, and then I, and my profile went from having less than a year experience to more than a year experience, all of a sudden I started seeing different companies. Then when I hit the two year mark, I started seeing 
even more companies. And then when I up my insurance from 25K to 50K, started seeing companies. Then when I up my insurance from 50K to 100,000, more companies. And then from 100,000 to a million, even more companies. So I've learned it's a combination of having the experience under your belt, meaning the number of signings you've done along with the year's experience. So you have after a year, you should probably hopefully you have like maybe 75 to 100 signings under your belt. Then you hit a year of doing that. You up your insurance. You should start seeing more orders come in and people calling you. Because there are companies out there that's like, well, if you don't meet this criteria, at least one year experience or two years, we won't have nothing to do with you. So if you can do some of those low level, quote unquote, gutter closings. And when I say gutter, meaning from the standpoint of pay versus, you know, and then you got to go for a long distance. and you, But you get five or six of those under your belt and then you can update your profile to show that that looks good for you. And then other companies will see, and then you do them well, and the companies comment positively and say, hey, man, you did great. We like this, that, and the other. You did good. They'll give you more. They'll give you more. And then as you get other companies who are willing to pay you more, you can sort of move away from those companies who are paying you less. But you got to start somewhere, okay? So I'm, I'm really hoping for many of you this month, will be a good month that you can get at least five or six closings this month i really am so anybody out there who has not gotten them um double check your profile in in snap docs if you're not getting notifications then you need to probably give them a a, a, a call or email or something and find out why you're not getting any um notifications maybe you need to get your your text message thing or whatever. I don't, I'm not really familiar with how all it works, but I do know some people have had to go back in there and tweak their profile in order to start getting text messages and all of that. But if you haven't been getting messages from these companies, then you need to try to reach out to them and find out, Hey, is there anything that I'm missing in my profile that I need to add in order for y'all to send me notifications? And it could be that, oh, well, you forgot to turn this on or we didn't do this. And then they'll be like, okay, here you go. And then you make it happen. So stay encouraged. Don't give up. This this does work. It will work. Um, don't get thrown off by what they're talking about with the housing industry. Because keep in mind this, whether the housing goes up, goes down, crashes, burns or whatever, there's going to always be somebody that's going to buy a property. And when they buy that property, they need a notary. So if the housing market crashes, house prices plummet, there's going to be somebody who's going to be in a position to buy those properties. And every single house that gets bought, that gets sold, needs a notary. So you get your act together, do what you need to do, so that when those house crashes come or those house booms happen, you're a notary that's in a position to accommodate those those buyers and those sellers. And now is the time to do that. OK, so y'all have a good night. I'm going to get me some rest. Um, I got six closings tomorrow. Fortunately, I got three of the documents already. Um, get up in the morning, prep those and then hopefully they'll quickly get me the other three. Not, then I'll be loading up the printer and all of that in the car and riding around town printing. But um, I'm hoping that you get some signings. If any of y'all who haven't gotten anything, you do get something. Um, you got any questions or whatever, hit me up. I'll be glad to help you out. All right. Y'all have a good night. Peace.